Okay, Hello, um, and this is Kitty's senior, what project is it? Large series. Large series in drawing three. And uh, here are all of the different pictures. Ooh, they're pretty clear and cool. Here's the other one. Check out that detail. And while I do this, Kitty will read her artist statement. That is called permutations. Um, the subject of this large, large series is silverware. I was racking my brain trying to come up with an idea for this series. I decided on silverware and going into the drawer to get a utensil for a snack, obviously some sort of comfort food. Do you ever wonder, or even know, just how many different sets or random singles of utensils you have? I opened the drawer and already there's a new addition to our conglomeration of spoons. Then there's that one set you only see during special occasions such as Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving. You come over to your significant other's house for dinner and there's yet another set of silverware. You open the utensil drawer in your apartment and whoa, there are seven different type, kinds of spoons, 15 different kinds of forks, and some five odd knives. There are just so many different designs and types of silverware. Imagine being a silverware collector. It'd be like wanting to watch all the movies ever created and not having enough time in your lifetime ever to do so. So why not mix and match? Since there were so many different sets and singles, I decided to display how many different ones of each, but rather set spoons, forks, and knives with their own separate selves. Letting forks equal one, spoons equal two, and knives equal three, one can have six different permutations. The amount of permutations on three objects is three factorial. Three times two times one, which is six. Numerically, these permutations are one, one, two, two, three, two, three, one, two, one, three, and two, three. There I'm not six filming you. These are the six permutations I have attempted to illustrate. I chose arches paper because I know it takes well to water. I want to use ink because it is not a material I'm familiar with. I've used charcoal mostly in any assignment. I've had to render the tone, but never ink. I've always discarded ink, ink as an option because I limited myself to the conclusion that I sucked at it. Excellent artist statement. Excellent. Here's one last glimpse of all the cool art before it gets wrapped up and put in her attic, probably never to be seen again. Katie refused to be on camera. This is anonymous. Alright, there you go.